Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I like to do is show you how to determine the slope and the y-intercept uh, by writing the equation in slope-intercept form. So remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Now, to, to kind of get away from that, um, one thing we can always do is just you know, isolate the variable. It doesn't matter if y is on the left side or the right side. Just isolate the variable. So one of the ways we can do it in this case is just get rid of what's happening to the variable. Right here, I have 4 minus y. All right. So really, that's a positive 4 subtracting y from it. So a lot of times, what I like to do is get the y to be positive. So what I'll do is I'll add y to both sides. Now, so negative y plus y has just become 0y. So therefore, I'm left with 2x plus y equals 4. Again, I need to get rid of. Now, all I did really by adding y on both sides is I just got the y to the other side. I still need to solve for this y. So to do that, I'll subtract a 2x on both sides. Therefore, I have y equals negative 2x plus 4. So therefore, now, by comparing this equation to my slope-intercept equation, I can determine that the slope, which represents our m, is equal to negative 2. And our y-intercept, which you write out, represent as b, is equal to 4, or writing it as a point, 0 comma 4. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine the slope and the y-intercept. Give an equation um, it, or write an equation in slope-intercept form. Thanks.